Everybody pray for me. It's been a day for me. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir, boys. Filming on the iPhone right now. We got the moped in the back of the truck. We're heading to the DMV. Was there yesterday and today. Um, got the MB5 registered yesterday. Uh, I couldn't get the Honda Elite registered because the paperwork I got it from, from the guy on off-road when I bought it originally, um, the VIN didn't match on the receipt and I never even looked at it. Took the receipt he gave me when he said he bought it from the dealership and uh, didn't even match it to the scooter bin. I'll have to go back to the DMV with the bill of sale um, and fix that one, but got the stunt moped piece in the back right now, the Chinese Tao Tao, because I gotta get this thing registered to fix that ticket I got a while ago when I literally got caught mid wheelie. I'm gonna show you guys how to register a moped today, I guess. I'm not sure how it is on every state, but um, we got a bill of sale, no title on this piece. So I uh, got a bill of sale though, and we're gonna take it down there and uh, see how she does. Show you guys how to register your mopeds. One time registration too. So once I register this, $50, uh, this thing's good for the whole time I have it. Little Vegas piece for y'all. Little skyline shot. Got the radio slabs only in the Chevy still. Still never put the radio deck in. Damn, nothing's playing. There we go. Good thing we're not in that, right? This dude's carrying a whole mini fridge on his shoulder right now. That's that real crackhead energy. You know when you're behind the stratosphere, you got that crackhead energy. Tip number one, just go to the DMV in the hood if you can, because I feel like they're most lenient on their rules. You go to the newer ones, like the one on the north side of town, man, and they're they're on it. They're, they won't let you pass for nothing. Here we go, baby, that's where we're heading, that VIN inspection. You see it? VIN inspection. Yeah, no problem. Reach out, you want me to, if you can see it. I can move the moped over if you want. Let's drop it. Okay. So that's how you do it, baby. Basically, all you need to do is have it under 50 cc's and your VIN has to read under two horsepower. This happened yesterday where they weren't able to find anything on it. The note, it says customer states horsepower is below two and I initialed it. Um, this happened the other day when I did the MV5, they couldn't find the actual horsepower of it. Now, when I did my Tau Tau though, um, it came out as 2.1 horsepower. I guess I had the one that's like actually like a 79 cc or an 80 cc stock, but it had emissions on it. Um, so therefore, my other moped would classify as a motorcycle. This one here, he just did that number on it because he couldn't find anything info wise. So now it registers as a moped, baby. You take this bill of sale, take this paperwork, 50 bucks, and you get a plate for lifetime, baby. A little Chinese scooter piece is about to be legal. Okay. Twelve. So moped don't need to register every year, so you just have a registration that you want to keep on there. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Everything. Thank you. Just like that, boys. This is for everybody that calls these scooters and says they're not called mopeds. What is that right there? What is that? That's a moped. So that's how simple it is to register your moped. So, um, like I said, no title was needed. I had a bill of sale. Um, that's all you need. And uh, just stating that someone sold you the bike, this is the VIN and this is the money. And you still don't need the title. You don't even need to pay to get a new title or nothing like that. I literally just have my moped registered and it's to my name and that's all that matters. Now the Elite is registered over there. So the Elite's good to go. I'm in the process of getting pretty much all my uh, mopeds, everything legal since they're all running now. So the MB5 is running. Just got this one uh, registered the other day. Like same deal, 50 bucks and it's a lifetime registration as long as I own the bike. So this thing was fun. I I went out riding with Chuck on his scooter and the MB5 the other day as well. Um, that'll be in Monday's video. But I was gonna put a few riding clips in after this video because I went around riding the Stroker. Um, once you get registered, I just wanted to hit the streets on it and mess around a little bit. On the 120cc Honda Elite. So enjoy these next clips. I'll see you guys in the next one. There we are, boys. We got the GoPro 8 with the mic in there. We're on the stroker piece.
kickstand and kept rattling on the exhaust and make everything come loose. So we put the, the BMX bar in piece. A little quick mod. Look at this. It doesn't even slam the pipe no more. I think that won't melt. <laughs> Not last. All right, boys, this might be the end of the GoPro saga. If you've been following, it's been going on for like two months now. First thought it was the mic, tried about four different mics, then it was the mic adapter. Um, right here, talked to GoPro, they sent out a new mic adapter, still didn't solve the issue. Then I went and bought another GoPro, this is my other GoPro from Best Buy, and it turned out the brand new GoPro worked just fine with my setup. Therefore, found out it was actually the GoPro that was the issue. Contact to GoPro, sent my GoPro back, and boys, the brand new piece. GoPro was supposed to test this and claim it 100% works with the microphone. So here's the final test, baby. What is, oh, it's that sticker. I was like, what is wrong with my screen? Date is, everything setting wise looks about right. Standard mic. Here we go, boys. Testing, 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 testing. She works, boys. New GoPro work. GoPro! It's time to get this one back to Best Buy after. Uh, I got cleaned up a little bit because we went riding on the Banshees and got this thing a little dusty. Still hate you, GoPro. Still hate you.